help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. What we have here is what uh, Ohane Zendibu president is saying. Despite the efforts, contributions, visions we are having for this freedom to come to us, Iwanya who said he's representing the Igbos. Of course, the Eastern region <laughs> said they are looking for restructuring. Hmm. These are a full of fools. These are Fulani stooge. They like doing what they will do so that Fulani people will clap for them. And yet, they are not even receiving this clap. Very funny indeed. Listen to what um, Iwanya is saying. He said that uh, Chief Iwanyawu, the President General of Ohanes and Divo worldwide expressed deep concern over the persistent marginalization of the predominantly Igbo Southeastern region in governance, resource distribution, and uh, overall development. Additionally, he highlighted the unfortunate reality of the Igbo community facing Igbo community facing not just neglected but also verbal abuse and insults. During an interview on Arise uh, News Television, Arise News Television, the esteemed leader of Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group emphasized the significant distribution made by the Igbo people in shaping the trajectory trajectory of Lagos and the Abuja as pivotal cities within Nigeria. According to Iwanyawu, Nigeria is currently operating a unitary system of government by the Igbo people, but the Igbo people are asking for true federalism. He added that without proper restructuring, Nigeria will continue to have problems. He said one thing is clear. In 1914, when Lugard amalgamated Nigeria, Nigeria had ethnic nationalities, people with different cultures, languages, and religions. They cannot, they were not the same. It was clear to us at that time that the survival on, of Nigeria would depend on our ability to manage our differences and, of course, our forbears before independence we are able to manage it. The military intervention in 1966 was absolutely very unfortunate. It was the saddest thing that ever happened to Nigeria. Unfortunately, that is blamed on Igbos. <laughs> but there was no reason for Igbos to topple the government, but it was blamed on us. That particular government before independent had true federal constitution that could be applied and bring a lot of strength to the people who have diverse backgrounds like Nigeria. Speaking further, Iwanyamu said that Nigeria had a federal constitution from 1960 till 1963 and that it looked for the uh, country but was later changed to a unitary constitution, which, according to him, is not right. He said that that is why we in Igbo land are saying, let us have a true federal constitution. What we are operating today is a unitary government, and it doesn't work for people who have diverse backgrounds. I believe that government of Bola Ametunubu should take steps to see if we can actualize this restructuring of Nigeria. Without proper restructuring, Nigeria will continue to have problems. There is no way this country can survive. Mm -hmm. He noted that everybody talks about the presidency in Nigeria, arguing that in a restructured Nigeria, the presidency will not attract so much attention as it does today. Because today, every power is vested in the president, he said. He continued, 
a child who is born in the south south or southeast in the past 30 years to 40 years has not even seen a train before he doesn't know what it is all about but we have borrowed money and the whole money borrowed was invested in railway from from western nigeria to northwest these are some of the problems because the southeast was not in power south south was not in power specifically on Igbos, our own is very serious we feel very sad about what is happening to us we when we came together as one country lagos became a capital and it was a duty of all nigerians to come together to develop our capital and our capital lagos became the pride of our country Igbos came in and participated I must tell you, Igbos by nature, once they say they are with you, they are with you. When they make a commitment, they keep it up. Igbos did a lot to develop the place. We are not saying that Igbos built Lagos alone, or that there were no other inhabitants there. There were. The point is that the Igbos played a major role in shaping the destiny of Lagos. Same thing with Abuja. When Abuja was made the federal capital, Igbos moved in. Today, Igbos are being abused, insulted, and call, called all sorts of names. Called greedy because of their efforts to develop Abuja and Lagos. Even up to the point that people are now saying that because in the last election a candidate Peter Obi was supported by the majority of Igbos, mark you, not every Igbo man voted for Peter Obi because this is democracy and there were Igbos in APC who voted for APC candidate. Okay, that's what um, Iwanyangu is saying. They seem to be dreaming. They are not saying what is possible because those that are in power, they are standing on your head and they are not ready to remove their leg until you push them to remove their legs. Yes, that's how life is. We have said this over decades and hence you have seen that they talk deaf ear when you talk such things. You give them another approach. That is how to do leadership. If something is not working for you, are you going to be playing it the same way, the same year, every time you are playing it the same method? Do you think you will get different results? No, is the answer. It's common sense then. When this A is not working, you first of all bring B, bring C, bring D. By the time you give them diverse water water, they will choose one. And simple and short, you will achieve your end. But it seems the problem we are having is the leaders in the Southeast. They are the sole problems we are having. These few individuals will go and collect money and then sign a lot of things against the um, larger populace. And you'll be crying, you'll be ranting. They will not be saying another thing altogether in other corners. That is what is keeping Biafra. <laughs> but what we actually need is Biafra. We need freedom. Even if the name will not be Biafra, but please, give us breathing space. We just need to excuse ourselves from what is not working for us. Simple and short. And that is what we need and that's what we have as news right now. Urging you to please take leave to this very channel. Like and subscribe um, to us. God bless you.